टुडे दोस्तों अप्रैल 18 आई ऑफिशियली डिक्लेयर दैट आई एम क्विटिंग गूगल क्रोम आपकी बहुत याद आएगी But instead switching finally to the Arc browser. Let me show you with an example. So this is Arc browser clean look. Let's say I have a bug in Android I was trying to fix. This is the bug I was facing and thanks to Arc browser I fixed the issue in 30 seconds. Let me show you. So I got these results on Google. Now just by hovering over this website I see two solutions to this bug. without opening the website i tried uninstalling the app and i tried option rt didn't was it able to resolve it then scroll down and then looked into other other issues and here i was able to scan this whole stack overflow page whole discussion page and just by hovering over it i figured out on this page on this unity page the issue was of the sdk version and then i figured it out thanks to this page without reading it this is a huge page with two three discussions without reading the page it summarized in a small box on google.com itself and because of that i was able to solve my bug and honestly batao this is not a sponsored video you will not find any link in the description of arc browser and i am not paid by it because i genuinely love the product so much that i couldn't resist making this video first of all when you open arc browser so i'm going to close arc browser for you all and open it so let's start from the beginning so let's quit and i'm going to type arc in my mac so on windows there is a better version but on mac it's fully supported for one year so you will see these tabs in a scrollable vertical way pehle mujhe yaar weird sa laga that oh my god tabs are not on top sabse badi problem pata kya thi let me talk about the first fear that i had while using this browser so now it obviously looks beautiful but when i open let's say google.com i get this whole full screen view but it was kind of scary imagine karo let's say that when we open in let's say chrome browser right when we open a google.com web page here we have a lock screen so when this page opens here in if you go to setting you can see the connection is secure many times you know i as a developer i'm used to seeing that and i always wanted to see this connection is secure easy to be seen now with arc browser if this is a clean look i do command s to unhide the left panel yahan pe ja ke i have to click on settings and then here i see the secure which is obviously different ui but hum hum web web developers android developers we are like so much used to seeing that secure icon but once i got used to this browser i feel much more productive kyunki pehle kya hota tha on google chrome let's say i get distracted yahan pe let's say there is youtube open i will be let's say distracted left and right scrolling left and right so i always had it are distractions right on top of me but with arc browser i can just screw command s and focus on browsing distraction ke liye kuch hai nahi yahan pe number 2 let's start with the theme you can go to spaces edit theme and in theme it is so beautiful that i i actually enjoy browsing more you can add as many colors in the gradient aap fully black kar sakte ho for example let's say i remove all the colors you can keep one color if you want to just black dark theme whatever you want to but i personally love playing with multiple colors so i add three colors and use this like beautiful gradient and it looks so cool that i genuinely want to use it so let's keep more red and yeah now it is beautiful so theme done ab baat karte hain spaces so this browser is unique because of the idea of spaces i have two phones i use one whatsapp for personal life one for business life so yahan pe agar aap dhyan se dekhoge this is space number 1 i have this whatsapp just bookmarked so for example let's say i open let's say a web page web.whatsapp.com it comes on the bottom here but you can just scroll it up it will become a bookmark ye kabhi bhi udke nahi jayega it will be permanently here like a bookmark now if you scroll it more up it can actually be part of that icons like apps jaise aap app manage karte ho similarly it can be like an app icon always there visible like a pinned tab and it is so easy to use aap agar let's say if you want second whatsapp usually what happens is if you want two whatsapp in one browser whatsapp web you can, you have to have to use two browser let's say this is chrome i will have to use edge browser or brave browser but with the help of spaces if i go down here this is my second space click on second space i can have a different whatsapp 
this is like my second WhatsApp on the same browser, thanks to spaces. So you can do scroll, you can scroll here, have two WhatsApp, this, these two basically are same WhatsApp, different tabs, and I can scroll left, second WhatsApp, first WhatsApp, second WhatsApp, first WhatsApp, and it's very, very convenient. So thanks to just one browser, I can have one space for just browsing, second space for my personal browsing, third space I can create, just scroll to the right, and third space for maybe, you know, my office work. So whatever I want, I can just achieve with one browser and makes me feel more productive. Now, number three thing about this browser is you can actually, you can actually have multiple screens in the same browser itself. For example, let's say I want to open this YouTube video. I can and click our, hold and actually can... open the second screen in the same browser and do command S and here are two videos, a YouTube video, WhatsApp, both are running parallelly. Obviously, yeah, it's not a big deal. Here are like two screens. It's something we have seen before. You can achieve the same by using like, let's say two tabs, but you will lose them. If you have a full screen, you will lose that setup. But with Arc Browser, this setup saved like a combination here and you can pin this whole combination as well so that your productivity setup is ready to be used at any point of time for example this can be a figma tab this can be your you know medium article tab you can use it at any point of time now number four we all know that kia devin was about to take our software engineering jobs but that is proven to be wrong and let me tell you how i can simply search with the help of our browser by the way tabs don't open on the top here it actually opens like command t it opens this pop-up let's say if i want to find let's say a medium article medium article devin ai was a scam now rather than it doing a google search for it so let's say if i hit enter it will obviously go to google and give me some results but rather than doing that i can close this google tab do command t paste it and do shift enter now this will do the google search for me and open the web page automatically so it went to google opened the first medium article and did eliminate this process of searching mere samne result aa and it saves me a lot of time as well so for example here if i do command s hide it now this whole full screen page is there for me now this website is very long to learn about how devon is scam i don't have enough time so obviously i can search let's say kahan pe scam hai i can search in the website easy peasy but the coolest part in the search is let's say i want to ask the search what ways devon scammed us i can literally click this ask button and it will give me answer as an AI assistant, not just like a normal AI assistant. Here, if you see the summary, based on the information provided in the article, it does not appear that Devin scammed anyone. However, the article suggests that the makers of Devin use some questionable tactics. So they use some tactics to fool us. And here, prove it actually copies the paragraph from the article and shows us as well. So Devin created its own bugs. It fixed those bugs. Cognition completely omits this in their demo, making it seem like Devin was fixing issues with the system. So basically, we want to prove that Devin had created his own issues and fixed his own issues. No actual upwork issue was fixed. Just like the dot-com bubble, these Silicon Valley companies, they over-promise and under-deliver. It is very common and that's what this article is proving as well. And the summary is, cherry-picking tasks to play Devin's strengths, omitting limitations and issues with Devin's performance, misrepresentation of Devin's capability. So these are the ways Cognition Labs ne humko ullu banane ki koshish ki and this is the reason I love this browser that I can find information so fast. I can first go through this summary and ask a question how, you know, how, how and what ways Devin is a scam because ye title to ye keh raha tha, but when I ask it, I get to know that it, it is a clickbaity title, but the reality is there is some tactics that Devin used. So these are not the only ways Arc Browser is making me more productive. Let me show you more. So here, let's say I hit Command S, show this preview. Now, if I go to my second space, all my bookmarks are here. So let's say I open this bookmark and let's say I have some songs. Now, let's say in this folder, I have some songs that I use for my YouTube videos. I can just click right click, copy all the links in one go. And let's say I open a new tab here read me file editor i need i don't need to i don't need to do google search i will do shift enter it will open a read me file editor quickly now here in this read me file editor i can quickly 
paste these links and use it anywhere I want to. So that's why it is very convenient and makes things easier for handling multiple links. One of my another favorite feature is if you just want to open a new tab, Command T. Now let's say you want to search on YouTube, Reddit, wherever you want to search, you can just do YouTube, hit tab, you can search on YouTube. Or you can do perplexity, hit tab, search on perplexity. Let's say top arc features, it will just search in perplexity and show it for you. You don't need to open perplexity. You want to search in chat GPT, type chat GPT and hit tab and search for let's say top arc features here as well and you will straight be taken to chat GPT. Reddit, many more websites support this you know, searching right from the tab menu and saves a lot of time opening the website. There are minimum number of times I open Google thanks to this coolest browser I've ever seen. And not just this, a core secret with Atom. So let's say that I have a new tab, let's say online market, online readme editor. Now if I move it and pin it in my space, it will actually create an AI generated name for it. So here it was clear name, it didn't change it. So let's say this is background, uh, background remover. So I, I pin it. Now it creates a name for it called up, upload image. Agar, for example, lead code ko upar leke jata hon, it will actually create an AI generated shorter name so that it's easier to read the information. If I, if I download this image, save image as now when this image will be saved, it will actually be here. It is saved right here in downloads. It is saved as a readable format. So lead code style interviews. If you saw the name was some, some random name, but it automatically changes it to an AI generated name. Taki the file name is not XYZ. It is recognizable for you. So overall, everything I do on Arc browser, I'm enjoying browsing much more than before. So this current, I really want to tell you all, ki if you switch to Arc browser, just try for one week. I can promise it will make you feel more productive. Now the question will be up extensions. So for example, if I go to my previous space, so let's go to previous space and where are my Chrome extensions? Yeah, this is Chromium based. You can still use all of your Chrome extensions. They are right here in settings. You click on settings, all of the extension, for example, ad blocker, if you want to use, or maybe if you want to use chat hub, all of these, you know, extensions are right here and all of the extensions can be downloaded from Chrome extension or Chrome web store easily. No problem at all. In this extensions page, it has some cool screenshot tools as well. So for example, if you click on the camera icon, you can take a quick screenshot of a snippet of a page and it will be saved to library and or you can just copy it and then send it to a friend through WhatsApp. I can open WhatsApp and this one yeah and i can send it to anyone easily so that's all yeah there are many more features that you should definitely check it out and i personally think that the, but the only the only catch is they have promised that they will not share our personal data with anyone but i am still scared to log in with my bank banking websites on arc browser Uskili, i still use safari maybe if there's a security breach on arc I don't want to think about it. So that's why I still use Safari or maybe Chrome for my banking data. But for everything else, Arc is my favorite and go-to browser. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments.